Good day everyone, we are Group 1 and our research title is Effectiveness of European Nightcrawler as Nia Hortensis Bermicast with Moringa, Moringa oleifera, leaf extract used in hydroponics for urban farming. The uses of modern hydroponics. According to Sarder and Admin 2013, in today's age, hydroponics urban farming is a growing trend and a globally preferred gardening method, as opposed to conventional farming methods that depend on soil. It's because hydroponics is more convenient, effective, and environmentally sustainable, and it solves problems in conventional farming. Hydroponics is characterized as a method of growing plants without the use of soil. According to Agricultural Training Institute, as a result of the pandemic, urban residents have been forced to seek alternative sources of food, resulting in the increase in popularity of hydroponics urban farming. Next are the benefits of Moringa leaf extract. According to Farouk et al. 2010, Moringa leaf extract has been found to be a suitable organic plant growth fertilizer and an alternative to commercial growth fertilizers similar to the vermiculture of European nightcrawlers. Moringa leaf extract is high in micro iron, zinc, manganese, and copper, and macrophosphorus, calcium, manganese, sodium, and potassium elements, all of which are essential for plant development. According to Gilbero et al. year 2014, it is said that Moringa leaf extract improves plant growth more than synthetic fertilizer and distilled water treatment. Next are the benefits of European Nightcrawler Vermicast. According to Anyanu 2019, Vermiculture is the use of bread earthworms to aerate the soil and turn organic matter into vermicompost organic fertilizer, also known as vermicast or worm castings, and it can grow wherever worms live. It's a method of producing worm castings and breaking down organic matter to aid plant growth by adding trace amounts of enzymes, elements, and nutrients to the soil. According to Arancon and Edwards 2005, its advantages include the increased crop yields, plant disease suppression, and soil improvement. According to Peyton and Tilly, the European nightcrawler is one of the most widely used worms in vermiculture, and it is quickly becoming a popular breed. Its characteristics and the ways it excretes make it ideal for better plant growth, as it contains nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and other beneficial nutrients, as well as beneficial bacteria. The fertilizer produced by European Nightcrawler is extremely rich and beneficial to the soil. Next is combining the two as a new nutrient treatment for hydroponics. Just as said, the Moringa leaf extract and European Nightcrawler has their own elements in growing a plant. If you combine these two, it can be very helpful to the growth of a plant. So as a result, the, researcher, the researchers went to see whether using a combination of Moringa leaf extract and European nightcrawler as an alternative organic fertilizer for plant growth in urban farming would be successful. The study aims to answer the question on how effective the European nightcrawler vermicast is with Moringa leaf extract nutrient solution for the growth of lettuce plant in terms of growth and development. In addition, our study will also aim to compare the different properties of the European nightcrawler Moringa leaf extract, the mixture of both nutrient solutions, no control treatment, and commercial fertilizer as well to determine the efficiency of the five in terms of growth rate of the lettuce plant to be used for urban farming. The researchers' goal is the efficiency of European nightcrawler vermicast with Moringa leaf extract and intending to justify the comparability of their hydroponic treatment group and control group. The researchers come up with the following problems. Number one. Which among the three hydroponic treatments, such as European nightcrawler vermicast, moringa leaf extract, the mixture of both, are more effective to less plant in terms of height, number of leaves, and color? We are using these three variables to compare the result of our research as we are using the lettuce plant to test each hydroponic treatment's effectiveness. The improved crop quality will be measured using its leaf size that will be measured from the stem to the apex plant height, and primary root length. This will determine what kind of effects different hydroponic treatments each have on the crop quality of the lettuce plant. Number two, which among the hydroponic treatments such as European night colors, Moringa leaf extract, mixture of both are comparable to the control group for the lettuce plant in terms of the same mentioned parameters above? This research is of great significance in the field of agriculture 
because it improves the productivity and quality of lettuce plants so that farmers can satisfy market demands. In addition, this will help certain groups and organizations such as farmers, agriculture, etc. Moreover, people living in a certain region can choose to grow their crops in a soil-free environment, which they can harvest for personal consumption or income generation. Scope and limitation. The study will be limited only to the effect of different treatments such as vermicas of European night crawlers, the moringa leaf extract, and a mixture of both on the growth of lettuce plants. The treatment group will be compared to control the group. 3 kilograms of European night crawlers will be cast. 3 kilos of moringa leaves will be extracted using ethanol as a solvent. 10 seeds of lettuce for treatment will be used in the study. The growth of the plant will be measured on a daily basis. Materials and methods. The setup that we will be using is the ebb and flow hydrophonics. The materials that we will be needing is 4 packs of clay pebbles. The lettuce seed will be bought at the garden shop at Quezon City. Our study will also need the following. 50 dish cups, submersible pump, vermiticky lights, stopper, at least 3 kilograms of European night crawlers, and 3 kilograms of moringa leaves. Gathering of materials. The materials that are needed for our projects are the following. 5 plastic pipes, 3 kilograms of European night crawlers, 3 kilograms of moringa leaves, 5 submersible pump, 50 dish cups, 5 pieces of 1 meter plastic pipes, 1 container, 5 pieces of 200 centimeter plastic tubes, 6 opaque plastic container, water sprinkler, 2 greenhouse plastic panels, greenhouse net, 2 sensors, 2 exhaust fans, and Arduino boards. The construction of ebb and flow hydrophonic setup. The ebb and flow hydrophonic setup are patterned from Fender Gibson Washburn in 2009 with some adjustments. The researchers would first install a 5 growing chamber, drilling 10 holes about the size of the bottom of the dish cup, 1 inch apart, preceded by the building of an iron stand for the growing chambers and the development of the greenhouse roof. Then the researchers will build five opaque plastic containers as a nutrient tank connecting to the submersible pump and its plastic tubing. Figure 2. Ebb and flow hydroponic setup. Automated vermicompost bin. This is patterned from the green shorts with some modification. First, drill 20 holes in the bottom of the compost bin, then build an iron stand for it. Drill 6 of the 1 inch holes on the top of the compost bin and cover it with a screen as well. Attach a soil moisture sensor with water sprinkler on the left side of the compost bin. It is to keep the soil moist for the worms. Right after attaching the soil moisture sensor, attach a temperature level sensor and the fan speed control to the left side of the compost bin. Also, Attach a two exhaust fan on the top of the compost bin. It is to maintain proper temperature inside. The sensors are powered from circuit box on the left. Figure 3 is a soil moisture sensor circuit program. The 5 volts adapter supplies the power for both the water pump and the soil moisture sensor. The Arduino Uno R3 is powered by a universal adapter or a phone charger adapter. The water pump and the soil moisture are connected to an Arduino relay. Wire collector mode pins of the soil moisture sensor and the soil moisture module are also connected. Instead of a typical water sprinkler, the researchers opted for a water pump to connect it to a water sprinkler. Figure 4 is a temperature level sensor circuit program. Temperature sensor is connected to our Arduino Uno R3 using hook of pins. The LCD was connected to the Arduino Uno R3 with ordinary wires. The Arduino Uno relay connects the Arduino Uno R3 to the exhaust fan. 5 volts adapter was used to supply the exhaust fan, while a USB 2.0 cable connected to a universal adapter gives supply to the Arduino Uno R3. Preparation of Moringa Leaf Extract 
Researchers will use the ethanol extraction process adopted from the Ame and Alafi for the Moringa plant with some modification. Wash the 3 kilos of Moringa leaves and dry it in a room temperature. After the leaves dried out, cut it into small pieces, 1 to 2 centimeters to be exact. Then ground the leaves to, to the electric bender. Soak the 50 grams of Moringa powder for 72 hours in 500 ml of ethanol at room temperature. The mixture will be stirred for 24 hours for the solvent to evaporate and then later concentrated in water bath to get extracted. It will be then placed in a labeled container. Planting of lettuce seeds in a pot. In this method, the researchers will first plant the 50 lettuce seeds in a nursery pot before it is transferred into a dish cup in ebb and flow hydroponic setup. It will require 1-2 to two weeks before the roots of the plant come out and once it come out, it will then be ready for transplanting. After waiting for 2-6 to six months, the researchers will then collect the vermicast in the bedding of the automated vermicompost bin. Once the vermicast are collected, it will then be mixed and stirred in 30 liters of water. The researchers will then let it steep for 2-3 to three days to provide a light brown vermicompost that can be used as a nutrient solution for the plant. In this method, the researchers will then prepare the concentrations of the vermica solution, moringa leaf extract, the mixture of both, no control treatment and control treatment. For the vermica solution, 1 ml of vermica will be diluted to 1 ml of distilled water. In the moringa leaf extract, 3 ml of the extract will be diluted to 30 ml of distilled water. Meanwhile, in the vermica solution and moringa leaf extract mixture, the concentration will be modified for there is no existing procedure for it. Thus, 10 ml of the vermica solution and 3 ml of the moringa leaf extract will be diluted to 40 ml of distilled water. No control treatment will be 100% distilled water. And the control treatment will be 1 ppm from commercial fertilizer diluted to 1 mg of distilled water. Once the lettuce is transplanted, nutrient solutions will then be poured into the reservoir to start the ebb and flow process to provide nutrients for the plant. In this method, once the roots are present in the lettuce plant, it will then be removed from the nursery pot where it is planted and it will be transplanted to the ebb and flow hydroponic setup on a dish cup with pebbles. Finally, in this last method, the researchers will observe the growth of the lettuce plant on a daily basis for data collection. On a daily basis, the height of the plant from the surface of the clay pebbles to the top of the lettuce plant, the number of leaves, and the color texture of the plant per setup will be measured in centimeters and it will be observed to see if there is an improvement in terms of growth. The submersible pump will manually turn on and off in a given amount of time where it accumulates water with treatments on the reservoir to the hydroponic tubes then back to the reservoir. In determining the effectiveness of the vermica solution, moringa leaf extract, and the mixture of both, to the no control treatment and control treatment, and the mixture of both to the control treatment, the researchers will be gathering the data with the same mentioned parameters on a daily basis. The researchers will then get its weekly average value of the data parameters. This procedure will be executed from 50 lettuce plants from all ebb and flow hydroponic setups. Appendix cost analysis. The first item is plastic box. Quantity frequency is 6. Amount is 250 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 1,500. Location where it will chase undertaken is SM North EDSA. The next item is a Rinduno boards. Quantity frequency is 2. Amount is 350 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 700 pesos. Location where it will purchase undertaken is SM North EDSA again. Plastic pipes. Quantity frequency is 5. Amount is 150 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 750 pesos. Location where it will purchase undertaken is in hardware. The next item is sensor. Quantity frequency is 2. Amount is 75 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 150 pesos. Location where it will purchase undertaken is SM North EDSA. And the next item is greenhouse plastic panel. Quantity frequency is 2. Amount is 70 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 140 pesos. Location, location where it will purchase undertaken is SM North EDSA again. And the next item is greenhouse net cover. Quantity frequency is 4. Amount is 70. Subtotal B, X, and C 
is 280 pesos location where it will purchase undertaken is SNR Edge again. And the next item is iron frames and start stand. Quantity frequency is 2, amount is 1000, subtotal B, X and C is 2000, location where it, it will purchase undertaken is SNR Edge again. The next item is water sprinkler. Quantity frequency is 2. Ay, quantity frequency is 1. Amount is 390 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 390 pesos. Location where it will purchase undertaken is SM Night Edge again. The next item is exhaust fan. Quantity frequency is 2. Amount is 100 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 100. Location where it will purchase undertaken is SM North Edge again. The next item is 50 pieces of European Night Crewers. Quantity frequency is 2 packs. Amount is 50 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 100 pesos. Location where it will purchase undertaken is in Shopee. The next item is Lettuce Seed. Quantity frequency is 2 packs. Amount is 70 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 140 pesos. Loca location where it will purchase undertaken is in Lazada. The next item is Moringa Leaves. Quantity frequency is 3 kilograms. Amount is 100 pesos. Subtotal B, X, and C is 300 pesos. Location where it will purchase undertaken is in Lazada again. The next item is sub sub Submersible Pump. Quantity frequency is 5, amount is 600, subtotal B, X, and C is 3,000, location where it will purchase undertaken is SN North Edsa. The last item is Dish Cup. Quantity frequency is 50, amount is 5 pesos, subtotal B, X, and C is 3,000, location where it will purchase undertaken is SN North Edsa. And the total of 9,850 and per student, 1,231 pesos. And that's all. Thank you.